So title update the level is here with us and uh, with it came a bunch of new stuff to the game, right? So we got new gear items, we got new weapons, a new game modes called Summit and a bunch more stuff, right? But today on this video, I want to focus on this new gear set that um, I've been enjoying a lot though. This gear set is going to be the go-to uh, type of gear set when you want to have that close range type of DPS and survivability built it's focused on smg and shotgun you know those type of close range weapons so in today's video i want to go all over that uh the new gear set called hunter's fury so if you enjoyed this video a like would be super appreciated and if you're new subscribe and uh yeah let's take a look at this right so this is gonna be the new uh hunter's fury gear set i think the purpose of this gear set is like having a good amount of damage as a fact you can get a lot of damage but having that survivability because you're gonna be on the enemy's face right so it does have some survivability um after a kill so by equipping two pieces of hunter's fate we get a 15 percent shotgun damage and 15 percent smg damage and that's why i said it's focused on those two type of weapons by equipping three pieces you get 20 percent armor on kill and 100 percent health on kill that basically puts your health right back to 100 percent and that armor on kill will back you up with that survivability that i'm talking about by being on your enemy's face now the fourth piece is where things start shining right so we have the apex predator enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff uh, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20 percent so every time you see an enemy with this symbol on top of their head uh, it call with a color red right basically you have a 20 percent damage amplified against them right not only that this is gonna go up right so or the second part of this talent it says killing and debuff enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within five meters right and amplifies weapon damage by another five percent for 10 seconds and this can stack up to five times so that's basically another 25 percent weapon damage amplified that you can add up to this build right so this like this fourth piece right here is really crazy once you get it up to the full potential you get up to basically a 45 percent amplified damage uh, potential on this gear set itself right now if you take a look at the chest piece right it continues the talent right so we have the endless hunger which is increase the duration of apex predator stacks from 10 seconds to 30 seconds so you can have that stacks you know that 25 percent uh, potential amplified damage for 30 seconds if, instead of 10 seconds so that's a good chest piece um i don't run it but it is good if you want to run it uh, for the backpack, the special talent is going to be the overwhelming force. Increase the radius of the serenity on Apex Predator kills from 5 to 10 meters. Now, this one in here, I don't recommend it. Um, it's okay. I mean, instead of 5 meters, you get 10 meters to get your uh, enemies kind of like on a crowd control kind of effect. But I prefer not using this at all. But that's what we have, right? Now, this is what I, uh, the full gear set. Now, the build that I have for this itself, I made this build right here. So, I do have on this build for Hunter's Fury, of course, right? And then, uh, on the chest piece, I am going with a Soccer Love, which gives me a 10% SMG damage. Uh, with the talent Intimidated, while you have a bonus armor, Impel 5, total weapon damage by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So... You guys know about this talent so that's really good and you have to be on their face right on the enemy's face now to get this uh the bonus armor we're gonna have uh the talent adrenaline rush that's coming on our group sombra uh, backpack which gives us um a 15 percent critical hit damage on this build now in here you see it's all red all you want weapon damage and critical hit damage in here i do have hazard protection because this is the only a uh, backpack that I have right now with adrenaline rush uh, that comes from Grupo Sombra. The best scenario in here would be a uh, critical chance in here. So with adrenaline rush, whenever you are within 10 meters of the enemy, gain a 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds and stack up to 3 times. So you can get up to 60% uh, bonus armor 
um, on this build by having adrenaline rush. Now, with that said, though, with adrenaline rush and the fact that you have a 20% armor on kill from the gear side itself, I do recommend at least going over 1.1 million armor. And that's what I have in here. I have two of the Hunter's Fury uh, rolled armor, right? Not only that, we have that 20% armor on kill from the uh, Hunter's Fury, we do have another 10% from the uh, gunner specialization if you don't know the gunner specialization right it has this uh, bonus right here which is killing enemies grants a 10 percent armor on kill so that's gonna stack up on top of that 20 which is gonna make a 30 percent armor on kill and with both together i'm gonna have a total of 330 uh, thousand armor on kill on this build with a um armor of 1.1 million armor right so i get 330 that's really good amount to come back after a kill so not bad now that we are here on the stats um taking a look at the stats of the smg that we're using which is the mpx i do have 55 percent critical chance and 140 critical hit damage um it doesn't sound a lot but it does a lot of damage this gun actually shreds i've been enjoying this mpx a lot and it's being my farming um build right now that i'm doing on this uh, uh opening of title update 11. so the talent that i have in here is going to be close and personal uh, like i said this build is the type of build that you want to be on the enemy's face that's why i am using close and personal killing and target we think seven meters grants a 30 percent weapon damage for 10 seconds so that's gonna stack up also on top of what we're getting um on the build now you do have an option to go with the lady death it's still really strong though so uh keep in mind you can use that but i just want to use something else right now so i'm using the mpx and don't don't sleep on this gun is really really good too so overall uh this build is crazy the gear set itself is really really good for close range smg and shotgun uh type of uh play style right if you like smg if you like shotguns uh this gear set is going to be the go-to because it just offers a lot of damage and survivability that i don't see in many other uh, type of builds right so i am enjoying this this is my build right now that i'm using to farming uh, let me know what you guys think of this um let me know how i can change this to make a different build all of that in the comment section below how are you liking title update 11 so if you enjoyed this video hit me with a like i would appreciate it helps a lot if you're new subscribe for more division 2 content and more to come and i'll see you guys in the next one peace